bad actress. <laughs> Helen, please, will you please listen to me? Madeline is not ready to be buried yet. She's upstairs, resting peacefully. How oh, fine. If she's not dead, you tell her to come down here. You tell her to come down here right now, walk up to me, and kiss me on the... Kiss you on the what? Mad? Help! Darling! Help. <laughs> what happened to him walking down here? What should I say? What else? Oh boy. Helen, I think you should leave right away. I see a very, very bad situation developing here. I just want you to know one thing, Helen. Your brother's on yourself. <laughs> oh, my God, what have you done? What have I done? You defended myself, that's what. You plot her. How can spirit her? She's dead! Oh, she is? These are the moments that make life for the living. Oh, that was horrible. It was brutal. Oh, what about the police, Madeline? Do you think they heard the gunshot? Ah, uh, the police. Big deal. What are they going to do about it? Throw me in the gas chamber. Oh, what about the neighbors? Do you think they heard a gunshot? The neighbors. In 12 years in Los Angeles, have you ever seen a neighbor? <laughs> oh, I have to think. What do I have to stay rational? Uh, I am completely rational, Ernest. We are going to bury her in Death Valley. You and me. I most certainly will not. Very strong words for a murder on the run, don't you think? Which, let's face it, is exactly what you are, Ernest. What if the police were to receive an anonymous call about you? Find me lying on the floor, not breathing, no pulse. <gasps> what will you tell them? Ain't nobody can play dead like I can. You're going to be very popular in prison. Prison? Mm. I'll go get the shovel, steer. <laughs> Well, today really shaped up in a very interesting way, don't you think? You ever have those days that start out so shitty, and then something wonderful happens, and then suddenly, I don't know, suddenly your entire outlook suddenly changes. That was totally uncalled for. And there seems to be something wrong with your blouse. 